Hello students, welcome back to the seventh video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number seven from the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 4, which is October 2024 P4 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number seven from this paper is about. Okay, so here you go. Uh, you can see question number seven on the screen. So basically, uh, the concepts behind question number seven, uh, it's basically combinedly from partial fractions and integration. So if I say uh, you need to have idea about partial, how, how to convert mixed, uh, how to convert a fraction into partial fraction, and and how to find out the volume of revolution of a solid uh, using integration. So. Partial fractions has been discussed in chapter number one. Sorry, uh, yeah, chapter number one, the very first chapter. Uh, chapter number two, there is partial fractions is dis discussed in chapter number two, the second chapter of your pure mathematics four textbook, and integration that has been discussed in chapter number six of your P4 textbook. So let's get started with question number seven. So right at first, you can see a figure, figure number four. Uh, the figure four shows a sketch of the part of the curve with equation y equals to 3x minus 1 over x plus 2, where x greater than what? Negative 2. Fine. So part A is asking here to show that 3x minus 1 over x plus 2 equals to what? A plus B over x plus 2, where? A and B are constants to be what found. So that means we need to uh, convert this fraction into what partial fraction. Okay. So what we can do? Look for part A. Uh, we have what? We have 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1 over what? X plus 2. Okay. X plus 2. This is equals to what? A plus b over x plus 2. So multiply both sides by x plus 2. So what you will get? 3x minus 1 equals to a times x plus 2 plus what? b. Okay. So substitute x equals to what? Negative 2. So that a gets eliminated. So you will have what? b. b equals to what? b equals to negative 2 times 3. This is negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 1. This is negative 7. So we got the value for b next uh, substitute x equals to what uh, x equals to 0 let's put x equals to 0 okay so if you put x equals to 0 you will have what twice of a plus b equals to what negative 1 so the value for a it is what a negative 1 b uh, we need to get the value for a so negative 1 b is what 7 negative 7 so negative 1 plus 7 over 2 that would give you just what 3 so 3x minus 1 over a x sorry 3x 3x minus 1 over x plus 2 it can be written as what 3x minus 2 over 3x minus 1 actually 3x minus 1 over x plus 2 it can be written as the value for a we got 3, isn't it? Yes. 3 minus 7 over x plus 2. That's the partial fraction of 3x minus 1 over x plus 2. That's it. Fine. Okay. So next is part B. In part B, they are saying the finite region R shown shaded in figure 4 is bounded by the curve, the line with equation x equals 4, the x axis and the line with equation x equals to what? 1. The region R you can see on the figure 4. So this region is rotated through 2 pi radians about the x axis to form a solid of what? Revolution. Okay. So this region R it has been rotated along the what? The x axis by 2 pi radian that is rotated by 360 degree to form a solid of revolution okay so part b is asking to use the answer to part a and algebraic integration 
to find the exact volume of the solid generated giving you answer in the form pi times p p plus q ln 2 where p and q are rational constants okay fine so we need to find out the volume of revolution okay so we know that the formula for finding volume of revolution which, which is what v equals to pi integration from b to a y square dx isn't it so we know the equation of what uh, equation of the curve right which is uh, 3x minus 1 over x plus 2 so we will use that equation okay so uh, so what would be the upper limit and lower limit it's you can see the upper limit is what 4 on the on the figure 4 you can see this is 4 and the lower limit is what 1 so uh, for part b we need the volume isn't it so volume would be uh, integration from 4 to 1 pi times what y squared y is basically 3 minus 7 over x plus 2 whole squared what dx okay now expand the expression what you will get a squared is what 9 minus 2 times a b 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 7 this is 42 over x plus 2 to a b and then plus b squared so 49 over x plus 2 what whole squared dx fine so now what we can do uh, make the powers visible okay so for that what we can do minus 42 x plus 2 inverse okay and here for that one 49 x plus 2 inverse what 2 okay uh, bracket closed the x fine now we need to just integrate within definite integral so pi times what what you will get here <coughs> integration of 9 is 9 x integration of what 1 over x plus 2 that would be what ln x plus 2 modulus okay and what the coefficient was negative 42 so it will remain as it is okay and integration of x plus 2 inverse 2 that would give you x plus 2 inverse because in integration we add 1 with the power so 1 got added with the power and the coefficient is what it was 49 but as we divide the coefficient by the new power that is negative 1 so 49 over negative 1 this is negative 40 9 okay so upper limit is 4 lower limit is what 1 okay so now pi times what uh, just put the values so 9 times 4 is what 36 minus 42 ln uh, ln 6 negative what 49 over x plus 2 is what uh, 6 right then minus 9 the put the lower limit that is 1 so it will have have minus in front so minus 9x that is minus 9 times 1 which is minus 9 minus minus makes it positive 42 ln 3 and then plus what 49 divide what 1 plus 2 which is 3 okay so let's uh, do the calculation constants what are the constant terms 36 minus 9 which is what uh, 27 so 27 and 49 over 3 minus 49 over 6 so 49 over 3 it is 49 over 3 minus 49 over 6 so it gives us 49 over 6 and then plus 27 that would give you 211 over 6 and the log 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 terms the terms with log take 42 common so 42 ln 3 it's minus so 3 42 ln 3 minus 42 ln 6 so 42 ln what half 3 over 6 this is what half so we can write this as what 211 
over 6 minus what 42 ln 2 inverse so we took the minus using power rule in front multiplying with the coefficient so you'll get ln 2 so we got is it in the form p plus p plus q ln 2 so the value for p it is what p equals to a rational constant which is 211 over 6 and q this is equals to 42 and that's it and that's what the question 6b has question 7 part b has asked for and that's the end of question number 7 fine